40 feet long, 8 feet high, and pink all over. The Giant Colon Exhibit is an awareness campaign by the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care and Cancer Care Ontario. The program is designed to educate us about colon cancer. The Credit Valley Hospital recently hosted the Giant Colon at the Bramalee City Centre in Brampton. In just three days, more than 7,000 people walked through the Giant Colon to learn more about this preventable disease. We're here in the Bramley City Centre with the Giant Colon. The Giant Colon is a 40-foot gigantic colon, and it's from the Colorectal Cancer Association of Canada. The Ministry of Health, along with Cancer Care Ontario, have put on a little mini tour across the province of the Giant Colon. And what it is, it's really like a, a virtual tour through a colonoscopy. So as you enter the giant colon, the first thing you see is some hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids bleed and can often cause symptoms of colorectal cancer, but they are not cancerous. As you move further into the colon, you see small polyps. Now, these small polyps are precancerous. They are what become cancer tumors. As we move along even further into the colon, we see large polyps. Now it's these large polyps that begin to obstruct the colon and become actual cancer tumors. And as we move to the end of the colon, we see actual cancer tumors. Once you come out of the colon, we have a number of tables set up with, with brochures and literature, and we have public health nurses from Peel Public Health and Halton Public Health, and we have knowledgeable volunteers from the Canadian Cancer Society there to answer any questions that people might have. I love the idea that they came up with this colon, giant colon, for people to go through and have awareness of the polyps and everything else that's going inside your colon. And it's a fantastic thing that they came up with. Colon cancer, as many of you know, is a very common illness. It's probably the second most common cancer that we see. And what's striking about it is, although it's common, it's highly preventable and highly treatable if it's found early. My uncle passed away from colon cancer largely because it was ignored, largely because he didn't seek out help. With the program we now have in place through the colon cancer check program and with the availability of screening for the citizens in Brampton and Mississauga, we have a real opportunity to impact the course of this illness, to help patients, to improve the outcome of people that we see and to put a break on the serious problems that we face with cancer in this region. We know with this colon cancer check program that over the next 10 to 20 years will save thousands and thousands of lives. And these are, if for every one life that's saved, that touches dozens of others. So my plea is, please get yourself screen. I woke up one morning and I went to the bathroom and the bowl was full of blood. So of course, I panicked, my husband panicked. So we went to the doctor right away and he goes, okay, colonoscopy right away. Uh, they did the test. Uh, when I woke up, he said, uh, uh, there's nothing, you got cancer. And so I said, okay. <laughs> of course, it was a shock. Uh, we went through a lot. The doctor was really good, and he took care of me, did the surgery, and, uh, and I'm fine today, nine years later. So hopefully that we can save lives. Colon cancer screening is really very, very important. The reason it's so important is it's the one illness where if the disease is found early, you can dramatically change the course of the illness and particularly you can increase the cure rate. What we also know is that because polyps lead to cancer, colon screening can often detect these precursor lesions, remove them and prevent the cancer cycle from even beginning in the first place. If we had everybody being screened who should be, we would see a dramatic decrease in death rate from colon cancer which is a major impact in terms of deaths in our province. In order to get screened, we would ask people to understand what the nature of the illness is. So there are two important points to make. Firstly, if you have any symptoms of bleeding, change in bowel habit, loss of appetite or weight loss, do not hesitate. See your physician, because these can be early signs of colon cancer. But as, or perhaps even more importantly, for people over the age of 50, even in the absence of any symptoms, it's important that you're screened. It's in these people where we can make a tremendous impact. As well, if you have a family history of colon cancer, particularly a first degree relative, a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, or perhaps even a child, 
you are at higher risk for colon cancer, this program is designed to assist you and ensure that you're appropriately screened. Colon cancer is probably a lifestyle issue. It relates to exercise, it relates to diet, and it probably even relates to alcohol consumption and to some extent to obesity. We can't ask people to necessarily dramatically change who they are, but attaining a healthy lifestyle, going for a walk once a day, watching your intake of calories, ensuring that you reduce the amount of alcohol that you take in will and can have a dramatic effect on the incidence of colon cancer. It's treatable, and if we get it early, uh, we can save, save a lot of suffering for individuals and their families.